Uh, what's up everyone? I know it's been like three years, but I found my motivation to create content again and over the time I became a much better animator and editor. So I think I'm ready to start posting my animations again. And for my return here, I've decided I'm gonna start a series of tutorials covering like everything you need to know about making sprite animations in Adobe Animate. And this is gonna be the first episode. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to find sprites for your videos and how to import them into Adobe Animate so you can start to animate with them. So first, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to make or to find sheets like this because it takes tons of time to crop out all the individual sprites and to remove the background and stuff and then by the time you're finished with it you probably don't even have any time anymore to work on the video. So instead, we're going to be downloading stuff like this where they're all individually cropped and they're still in full quality and everything so you can animate with them and it's way easier because you can just drag and drop. So let's get right into where you can find some of these things. So the main website that people normally use to find sprites is this website, the Spriters Resource, which can be really good if you're okay with um, cropping out the things like this. but. For me, I'm just not very efficient at doing it, so it, it takes me a really long time and then I'm already kind of burnt out by the time I crop them all out. So if you're okay with doing that, there are lots of different sprites like Extreme Butoden sprites and um, the Legendary Super Warriors ones are also on here and lots of different ones that you can use from all sorts of games and stuff. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the individually cropped ones. So in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to go over here to the Mugen Archive and you can go over here to Characters and then under here, Heroes Manga Comics TV, they have a Dragon Ball tab. So then you can see from, they have a few different games, but the I like the Extreme Bow to Them one's the best. And then they have tons of different characters here that you can choose from. So I'm gonna go through and find whichever one that I'm wanting to download and then I'll tell you guys what to do from there. Okay, so I want to download this Goku one right here. So I'm going to click on it and just click on this blue button right here. And you are going to need to make an account in order to do this. But if you make animations a lot, it's totally worth it because this, like, they're all individually cropped and it has like 6,000 sprites here. I think this one comes with all those forms too. So I'm just going to click and download onto that. And it should download to a WinRAR like this, which, um, if you don't have one more already, you should download that because it's awesome. But once you have that downloaded, just drag that onto the desktop here. And the only file that you're actually gonna need for this, this one, the one that says .sff, this is the only one that you're gonna need. So you can just drag that onto the desktop here or whatever. There it is. And then there's one program that you're gonna to need to download for this. That program that you're gonna need is Fighter Factory 3, which you can also download off of Mugen Archive. So if you look up Fighter Factory 3, it should just be the first link right here. And I'm not gonna download it again because I already did, but if you download it, you'll get the folder right here. And you can go into it and just um, don't click the exe file to open it up. And then once you're inside a Fighter Factory, this is where you're gonna import the sprites. So if you click up here on this sprites window, you can click on that and then click open. And then you're gonna wanna find that SFF file um, or whatever character you downloaded. So mine was this one. So once you open that up, it'll take a little bit to load. And then you can see all of your different sprites. What you're gonna wanna do is go up here to sprites and click on save image. When you click on this, you can select it to all so that you can do all the sprites or you can pick a thing and not do all of them. But I just go with all if you want all the sprites included in the character. Click on okay. And then um, wherever you wanna save the sprites to, just make a new folder. I'm just gonna call this one Goku from video and then double click that and then put the file name is whatever you want each sprite to be saved as. So I'll just put um, Goku's and if you click save, it'll go through. Okay, and it's done saving. So once those are done saving, you can go ahead and close Fighter Factory and 
here you can see all the things. There will be some more, yeah, the Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan God. All of the forms are in here. Let's go ahead and open Adobe Animate, and then I'll get back to you when it's open. Okay, so now we're inside of Adobe Animate, and I have um, just a little background in here um, imported. So in order to get your character inside, you're going to want to make a new layer by pressing right over here. And then select this little frame, click on this. And then you can open up whatever sprite you want to do on another window here. And then you're just going to drag it right onto there. I can make it a little bigger to fill up the frame. As you can see, it's a little bit blurry. Um, and the way that you can fix that is if you right click on it, you can go down to here, um, show in library. If you left click that, it'll show your library here. And then you can right click again on him, go down to properties. And then right here where it says allow smoothing, you're gonna uncheck that and then that'll make him good quality and pixelated. And make sure that the compression is set to lossless as well. So then you can click okay. And there you go, that is how you can import and download sprites and put them into Adobe Animate. Um, in the next episode of this series, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can actually like animate with them and make movements and sort of how to do some easing and stuff. So then you can start animating. And then after that, I'll probably show how you can use the, the camera tool in Adobe Animate. And then maybe after that, I'll do effects. So subscribe and turn your notifications on so then whenever I upload those tutorials, you guys can follow them. And then before you know it, if you follow through all of them, then you'll be able to make awesome sprite animations. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.